Hello everyone and happy Friday. It's the Friday Furtado Show with your boy, Coach Furtado, Justin Furtado, as I share my experience as a young coach and young leader. And so for those of you listening to the first time, I really like to share what I'm challenged with. And sometimes I share my wins and, you know, what I'm growing and going through. But really something that I want to touch on that I've been that I have been challenged with my entire life and I probably will for the foreseeable future. And I think most other humans do is worrying about what other people think and Nick Saban uh, the great Alabama football coach has an an awesome quote that I've been thinking about recently which is if you want to make everyone happy sell ice cream (laughs) don't be a leader and don't be a coach because you know with with coaching you got play time you got like who takes the shot who you know whatever that that's a whole nother rabbit hole essentially i want to keep this you know broad enough for you as a leader working you know i'm really targeting people that are working with youth and making a difference for uh, people in the next generation so with that this is applicable to anything though is i've, I've been challenged by that that's why i've been someone that's like been a, a, able to be a chameleon and kind of like adjust and and with the groups that I'm around, right? But there's a difference between when you're like a a general member or, you know, an employee and a coach on kind of the ground level. And then once you move into leadership positions, you have to start making, you know, strategic decisions about where the company or the team is moving. And ain't no, well, number one, humans don't like change, right? It's, it's against our nature. Like change sends the signals to our, to our brain that, you know, some, there's a threat, right? It may not be a threat, right? But as, as humans, we have adapted towards that, you know, from when we were little, like, apes running around, like, you know, I saw, you know, that the snow is coming and things are changing, whatever it may be, you know, I ain't no scientist, so don't quote me on that. But essentially, with that being said, we have to be very mindful um, of, of how we present change, but we also have to be very mindful of people are going to have what they have to say. And I can I can think back to last month, like in the April training, the first training I gave before I even officially got promoted. Like it was kind of more so like a trial run. I had my training wheels on, but essentially, you know, I was I was worried. I was so worried about what other people were thinking. Especially a lot of them were my peers, you know, and and they still are my peers because I'm still coaching. But now that I'm like admin and coach, like I'm, you know, obviously have a little bit more leadership responsibilities in the direction of the company I'm influencing quite a bit more. So I was like, oh, no, what are they going to think? They're like, you know, he's just a coach. You know, why is he up here? Right. So I guarantee you, you know, like reflecting on it, I'm like maybe one or two coaches thought about that. But most people aren't spending the ounce or any energy thinking about you know, me or you, you know, they, they're worried about themselves and their families. And, you know, so, right. They just, they just want to feel, feel heard. And with that being said, I have been really working on whose opinions and reflect on whose opinions matter most to me. And it's my family's and, you know, my girlfriend and really probably some close friends, close mentors. And that's about it. Like a very, like a a very tight knit, like I had to actually like think out in my head, whose opinions like really really matter right and it's not like i'm gonna still go around being like mean or anything no i'm still gonna be kind but at the end of the day like some people are always gonna judge you that's like kind of how we're wired we're wired to judge people and you know of, of course i judge people sometimes and i try and catch myself because i'm finding that you know the the less i can judge people right the the more i will be able to like not let others judgment affect me if that makes sense so i think really just just knowing and standing in that like especially with honestly with being a referee has been like very challenging i do that like with a kid with the kids i always oftentimes I like to let the other coaches coach the teams and you know as as the head coach of the gym i like to take kind of control of the games and you know make sure the the flow and i know you know what kids need to need to work on on what and really it's it's you know it's funny you get yelled at by parents by kids oh that's a travel blah 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 it's a foul call it call it coach you know and i used to be you know you know excuse my french but i used to be an asshole to the refs like i was i was that kid and now that i'm like refereeing i'm like dang this is a hard job like what do you call do i call everything you know kind of like it really depends on the game, you know, I'm going to mess up, I'm not going to see it, so I have a lot more respect for referees, and there's actually a shortage of referees, so if you're listening to this, and you're interested in umpiring or refereeing, yo, they need it, 
uh, especially in California, but I'm sure they need it all over in the United States. And hey, even if you're listening to this globally, I bet they need it. So, so the world needs some more referees and umpires, but they've kind of been pushed out by you know crazy parents crazy kids you know so that's that's a whole nother podcast actually you know speaking of that you can go listen to the most recent bridging impact episode with lee taft and we talk about the youth sports model but side note ooh, had to you know get in that little little promotion so with that being said though one of the things is i think recognizing whose opinion matters most um doing your best and explaining decisions i think that's something that i've been trying to do instead of just you know doing this you know we're having this virtual meeting because xyz like the purpose of this meeting is xyz and just being very transparent right obviously there are some things that that you know the general coaches or kids they're not going to know neither understand nor they they don't need to know but trying to be very intentional with sharing why why we're doing this and i think that really helps them connect to the, to the mission of whatever the company is or whatever you know the purpose of that meeting is and then some are still going to judge and i think one of the things is uh, really focusing on those that do show up those that do participate and just giving your energy to them there are always going to be people that are on your that are that are good employees and that are good kids but they just don't always get on board but they're there and they, they don't say much. And so, you know, you just, I, I think I'm learning the, the, the power of, you know, recognizing and praising those that do show up and, and not necessarily always reprimanding. You know, if they, they do their job, they do their job fine and they don't go above and beyond. They don't, you know, show up to some things like you kind of got to live with that. You know, you got to You got to live with that. And, you know, learning that the, the hard way. And, and you know, th- those are probably the ones that are probably judging and just letting that be. So what? One of the things I ask myself is, what can I control? I can control my intentionality. I control my preparation. I control my energy. Boom. Everything else, like I can't control what, what X, what Bob thinks. I can't. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what Sally thinks. So that's what I got for y'all today. Uh, let me know. Um, respond to me. Reach out to me if you, you know you've been plagued by the fear of judgment. And I'm, I'm still working on. It. I, I ain't gonna sit out here and say that I'm completely relieved i don't even care what anyone thinks of me anymore no like i i'm still working through it i'm trying to like catch myself like okay why why am i fearing this is this logical blah 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 you know probably not probably not logical so you know just just nip that in the butt let go of it let go of it let go of what people in high school let go of what people in college think and let go of what people in the office think because at the end of the day, no one's going to, not everyone is going to understand you and they don't have the time or energy to do that. And most of the time they're not even thinking about you or judging you and that's your own head worrying about it. So those are my thoughts for the day. Appreciate y'all for listening. Please like, comment, subscribe, whether on YouTube, uh, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts. It's how the, uh, this show grows and this show is for young leaders, young coaches, and, and it's a space for us. So maybe I'll do a mailbag section and, and, and answer questions as we go. I've been growing a lot as a leader and I feel very liberated to let go of quite a bit of judgment. So I'm going to continue doing that in my professional life and obviously i want to kind of push it over into my personal life as well so sending y'all much love have a wonderful weekend coach Furtado out